I am currently in Las Vegas with you know who. Yeah. Yesterday, me and Code were like, let's hit the road and go somewhere. And we decided on here. I wanted to go to Arizona initially because the rent fair is happening there right now. Yeah, every weekend. Cause it's there for so long, like compared to other states, I feel like it's there longer, but maybe I haven't done enough extensive research about it. The Ren Fair there, they have like a different theme every weekend. Does anyone else get whiteheads on their fucking lip? Whenever I get facials, my facial lady is like popping them and I'm like, but there's such a long string. It's so crazy. Like what collects in there? But anyways, um, yeah, they have different themes every weekend and this was pirate weekend and I love everything pirate right now. So I was like, we should go, but then we we're looking into it more and I guess the pirate weekend was like more of a kid's vibe. They had like a lot of kids events, like kids costume contests and stuff like that, which is sweet and all, but I like the adult activities. So I think we're going to go another weekend. Next weekend is, what's next weekend? Celtic. Celtic weekend. And the weekend after that is Wizards. And I love Wizards and Ruby's available that weekend too. So I think we're going to like all go that weekend. So I'm very excited. But yeah, we ended up going to Vegas instead. So we're here and we stayed at the Golden Nugget last night, which wasn't the best decision of all time. At first I was like, oh, like the novelty of it is so cute because it's in old Vegas and I love like downtown Vegas. So, but it wasn't, the parking situation was awful and our, it was so loud in our room. It wasn't the best, but you live and you learn. We just ended up like watching Spider-Man rerun, uh, Spider-Man 3, which I thought I had never seen before, but I have totally seen it before. But then we were just headed out and I was like, I should look at estatesales.net and see what this estate sales scoop is over here. And I found this estate sale for this doll collector and I'm heading there right now. It looks juicy, cause you know how, I don't know if you've been on estatesale.com before, but they have like photos of the estate sale that you could flip through kind of like Facebook album style. And it looks juicy. And one of my employees, Nova, makes dolls. So I sent her the listing. I was like, oh my God, look where I'm going. Um, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for stuff for her too, cause she makes dolls. You should check out her dolls. They're so awesome. I have one. I love it. Nova Odette. She's amazing. Oh, said, what the fuck is about to happen? Okay. We have a package. Um, I've been in cahoots with this lady in the UK who has... Um, a bunch of goth stuff that I've been wanting. So here's my first big order from her. I just got home from work and this is the most exciting thing for my day. So this is gonna be pure raw excitement right here. And Ulf had to join in on the party. He doesn't give a damn. He doesn't give a flying damn. Do you, Oaf? Do you care? <laughs> he said, absolutely not. Woohoo! Okay, this one says samples of other clothes I have. Okay, so she said she was gonna send me some samples of styles that I didn't buy from her so I could see if I wanna get it or not. Okay, this is like an under busty corset thing. Here is a corset. Oh, I'm, I like these. These are super cute. Skirt, little lacy panels and ribbons. Look at this super steampunk tag. 
Okay, this is giving my Black Parade vibes, whatever's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm into this. Okay, it's like vinyl with lace on top. That's honestly a genius idea. It makes it look like... So interesting. Here is... This guy. Honestly, good check. Cute. This is like another colorway of it. Like a snow leopard trim. Here are these leg warmers. Oh, if I have something to say about those. <laughs> he is like, whoa. Come. Come to mama. He'll do his thing. Another my chemical romancy thing. He literally has a beef with the plastic. Okay, now we're getting into what I did order. I'm seeing some vinyl, seeing some um, French made vibes. This is really sticky, is my review. Okay, here's this tank top the vinyl panel in the middle. Very cute. I love that. Here is... I know I ordered this so long ago, I like felt like it was never gonna get here. Oh, a black version. I love the black version. It has a black vinyl panel in the middle. Oh, so cute. Corset. Here is something. Oh my god, we're working on our spring collection right now. Well, it's gonna be like spring summer. It's gonna come out early June. And it's very special. Very, very special. This is a tough one. Okay, this is cute. For set. Love it. Yeah, good size range on this haul. This is a size 14. Ooh, we're in a gingham region. Oh, it's like really staying put. So cute. These little skirts. It has like a satin trim under here. And, oh, I like this mixture of, um, Eyelet and lace. Honestly, amazing. Love that. This is a red version of that exact skirt. I got a few sizes. It has the vinyl panel underneath with lace on top. Super cute. Oh, matching skirt. Oh my god, it's such cute stuff. I love it. And then, oh, this is a garter belt. So cute. Oh my god. What on this? <laughs> um, this guy. This. Oh, another one. Oh no, this is a different style. Oh, this is like milk matey. Um, it's like a canvas material, almost like trip pants or something, uh, with lace and ribbons. It's another one of those corsets. Another one. Another one of that guy. Ooh, this is a pink colorway with the vinyl underneath. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love being able to shop 
for people around the world and curate a vibe on iGirl. Okay, and then there's two more styles. Jeans. They're like straight leg jeans. They're cute. Maybe I need one of these. But yeah, also in this colorway. So I wanted to hop on here and make a vid about the grand return of the custom styled by iGirl bundle. I am super excited to be bringing them back. Like I feel like it's like bringing me back to my roots in a way by bringing them back because I remember when I was living in Winnipeg and I had like wrote this concept on my computer and I was like, this would be a dream if this is something I could do. And then it was so cool seeing it become a trend on Depop after of people making bundles and doing them around the world. And it's just been, there's definitely been some ups and downs with it like obviously i had to figure a lot of things out and i even took a break from doing them for like over a year just to focus on our original designs and yeah but basically they're coming back this sunday the 20th and i'm really pumped like we've me and the whole team have been working super hard on preparing for the return, sourcing all the fun stuff that's going to be going in them. Like even the inventory this time around is going to be really different because now we have way more of our own designs because we have more apparel now. And I've been sourcing all this crazy dead stock stuff like Deadstock Lip Service, Sinister, lots of really awesome stuff. So I'll definitely show you a bunch of the inventory that's going to be going in the bundles this time. But uh, I also wanted to address, because yesterday we posted that the bundles were making their comeback. And I was expecting response for sure. Because to bring them back, we had to increase the price just reflecting a lot of the things now like our team our office space the amount of time we're going to be investing in these because we also want to make sure that we still have time to do our collections which we love and value so i just kind of wanted to explain the price so the bundles are now 350 but the thing that i want people to understand is that you're paying for a service and you are getting two styled looks and with accessories, with dead stock clothes, with new clothes, with eye girl clothes and with vintage clothes, of course. And yeah, this is our time that we're spending to look at your social media profiles, to look at all your measurements, to like take an account to your theme and make sure it's perfect. <clears throat> and it's not just us pulling together clothes for you it's us making it catered to you and think if you were to hire a professional stylist for a day like 350 would be a great rate honestly and you probably wouldn't be able to bring any of those clothes home and it's all clothes that you can keep forever and there is an immense value in that that you have this experience. We write a letter that's saying like how everything should be styled and catered to you. So I just wanted everyone to understand the effort that goes into those and the fact that our team is now expanded and these are gonna be, this is a really special luxury service that you're getting and it's arriving right to your doorstep. But I totally respect, obviously, everyone having their opinion. And if that is not in your price range, totally understand. We're going to still having have our collections for people to purchase and our vintage drops and our dead stock drops and all that. So if the 350 is not in your price range, 100% understand. And... Um, yeah, it's always something that you could save up for. It is a very special service. 
and yeah it was so crazy like reflecting on the bundle before because we obviously the price was a lot different back then and we were driving ourselves up the wall with these bundles like we were looking at our behind the scenes for our on like our shipping service which we use ship station and from 2019 to 2021 we had done 890 bundles and i was just like wow like the amount of sleepless nights the amount it was just too much so we just wanted to take into account the amount of work that goes into these and if that means less people can afford them then i understand that and it's it's a service that has to reflect our time and effort and yeah i hope you understand and yeah i'm so excited like i've been getting so crazy about shopping and making the themes all right and we wanted to be like really particular on our faq on the website just with like how everything's gonna go so if you have like any particular questions hopefully they're answered on the faq but please let me know down below like any questions that you have and we'll try to address them all but yeah i will keep you updated and i'm literally so excited to start doing the styling videos again like those were so fun and just like seeing the creative process but yeah if you have any questions let me know and very very excited to be bringing these back okay so we just finished a malga bundle and she has a bunch of eye girl product which when everyone sends their bundle information now we get them to send what if what eye girl they have already which we already did before but yeah basically we just finished pulling this one together and i'll explain one at a time so she says that she likes a mixture of masculine and feminine and she also gave us no limitations which is awesome um and so for the first one we wanted to do a pant look so she has more of a masculine option so we did these dead stock goth pants that oh she also said she loves scene emo 2000s 90s so i thought tying into a little bit of like myspace goth would be fun too so this was definitely giving that vibe so we included these which are still new with tags and then we did this matching top up here. We looked at her Instagram and she definitely loves to do like a lot of fun statement looks. So we thought this would be a great addition to her wardrobe. So we did this guy. And then for a stack up here, we included this old emo emblem ball chain necklace, which is adorable with the, our cleaver necklace. And then we gave her our totally sold out haunted hat. We found literally one in here that we've been using for styling. So. I think she'll enjoy. And then our Tortura cuff. So this is option number one. And then over here, she said she loves Trip New York City. And we just found this Trip Peacoat, which she could wear with like freaking everything. So we gave her that guy. And then this Deadstock Queen of Darkness black top that just has this adorable rosette. And this also has like garter straps that come from the bottom of the tank. So we're going to give her the option in her styling letter to wear it like on top of the skirt for more of a statement look or if she just wants to tuck it in to be a little bit more cash, she totally can. So we did that and then this is also a new old stock goth skirt down here that has these lace panels on the side and like the little bow details. And then for her accessories, we did our unreleased black Lilith rosary and the rabbit choker and hatchet minis and then oh i also forgot black bow sleeves and then since she said she loves like scene emo la 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 we also gave her this manic panic clip in because she has like blondie hair so i feel like it'll tie in perfectly but yeah here's her juicy bundle and we also just added this one up the retail of this bundle is 585 so Okay, so we just finished our first Rock of Love bundle. I'm so excited that people are buying that one because I love that theme. But yeah, we just finished it up. Here it is. She sent us her Pinterest board. Here, I'll just mention that quickly. And I'll include some photos from her Pinterest board. I'll throw them up around here. But um, yeah, there was like a lot of like pop star inspo, 2000s Paris Hilton, 
There was like 90s wrestlers in there. There was, um, who else was in there? Gwen Stefani. Yeah, all sorts of uh, trashy baddie icons. Okay, so the first look we did here is this halter top that has like these little bedazzled study business up here. And then we paired it with that classic hot kiss denim mini skirt, which she obviously needed with this bundle. And then I thought the white patent belt added like the perfect little trashy addition. And then we also included this cardigan, which is so insane that she could wear with this outfit, but we just kept it to the side so that you could see the back of it because it's very iconic. She could wear that. It's by this brand that's good too, Katie did. And yeah, it has, I think a big like winged cross on the front too. It's like so rock of love, it hurts. But yeah, she's gonna wear that with this outfit and we threw in our Fallon purse, which I'll be great with it. And our raven necklace that I'm wearing in the bundle example. And coffin studs for a little edgier addition. I saw Amy Lee was in her mood board as well. And then some classic trashy black shades. And then over here, like I said, she had a lot of like Paris Hilton 2000 pop star inspo in her Pinterest board. So I thought flares were a must, some denim boot cut. It's like a mixture of boot cut and flare. It's like metallic lace details on the legs. And then, yeah, we included this juicy sweater that says Juicy Idol on the back, or Juicy Icon, actually. And then with this classic white cami underneath, so she could have, like, wear her favorite push-up bra underneath and has a little extra oomph. Accessory-wise, we did the eye girl pendant, she double hoops, and then for a little extra addition, we threw in our Fallon shorts, which work, she could wear it with this outfit even. But honestly, the whole bundle is super interchangeable. She could wear like this top situation with that skirt. She wear that belt over here. She can like mix and match the whole damn thing, but I love this one. And this whole bundle added up retail wise to $471. Okay, I just finished. Well, me and Ruby just finished a grunge star bundle and we'll go through each option here. So in the grunge star photo example, I'll put it up here. Um, I'm wearing a flannel. The grunge star is very inspired by Taylor Momsen. She was kind of who we were thinking as like the muse behind that one. So um, we definitely like tied back into that with this outfit. So we did a flannel, which is classic grunge girl. She mentioned when she emailed us about her bundle that she doesn't like showing her lower belly. So we thought that pairing it with a baggier shirt with like a mini or skirt was like a cute combination and also still gives her like sex appeal. Okay, yeah, so we paired this slipknot tee with a flannel and then we did our vinyl skirt down here, garter tights that she can choose if she wants to attach it to our garters or it is a, just like a garter belt. So she could choose how she wants to wear it. And then we did our unreleased black Lilith rosary. And uh, she said that she loves hair accessories. So we popped those in. And then we also did our red bow sleeves. And then we also wanted to include a more fitted option too. And we didn't want to give her like a crop top because she mentioned the lower belly thing. So we paired this that could also go with this outfit and she could wear this with the flannel and the skirt and the garters. And then that's more of like a fitted all over vibe. But if she wants to be like a little bit more baggy up top, she has this option here. And then over here, we did our Fallon dress and it's like a thermal material, which is like classic grunge fabric. And we have styled on our page. We usually style with like our zip belt um, with the Fallon dress, just cause it's a little fun addition, but she already has the zip belt. So I thought a classic vintage studded three row belt would be awesome. So we popped that with the dress that'll sit on her hips. And then we did our Fallon purse, double sided Fallon. And then in the grunge star photo example, I'm wearing the Raven necklace, which has like the leather cord through it. We did that. 
and stacked with our Fear Me Choker. And I'm also wearing the Hatchet Minis in the photo example. And then she also mentioned how she loves bracelets, so I included the matching Raven set for her. The retail of this outfit is $539. And uh, Ruby just mentioned a good point. She already has a zip belt, so she could totally stack this with her zip belt with the dress for like an extra statement look. This is a fruit street style bundle and we love it. Here is the first one right here. So we did this orange maxi dress that has like a graphic print on the front. She says that she loves fun graphics, so I thought this was a good way to tie into that. And then for her stack with this one, we did the coffin pendant and the fear me choker. And we also threw in the strawberry stud. We did this super cute coat that she can actually wear with both outfits. But yeah, it's by Bow Boys back in the day. And then we had our black bow sleeves just popping out of the sleeves there. And then we included this stuffed animal bag that's super cute. You could go with both outfits. And we also included our love bug wallet that she can use with that bag. It's mini. And then over here, we for the Fruits Magazine photo example, Ruby's wearing a plaid skirt over a pair of jeans with like a strawberry printed tube top. It was like really fun and a lot of layering happening. So we wanted to do some layering action here. And we also took a look at her TikTok and she likes to wear dresses over over pants and just like do layering herself. So I'm sure she's comfortable with it. So we did these super cute old school Jinko jeans and they have like this fraying detail here and like this little westerny knee thing, which is awesome. And then we paired it over this baby doll dress that has a little satin tie up here, which is adorable. And she could totally wear this on her own, but we just thought it looked really fun paired over this denim. And then, yeah, she mentioned that she loves graphic shirts, so we included this graphic shirt up here, which also is a fun color. And then up here we did the starberry necklace and the she devil hoops. And then for a little extra graphic, we added in our apple tee that she can also wear with these jeans. Yeah, just having her wardrobe. Bundle. Thanks for tuning in to this video. I'm so excited to be back and showing you. I'll do more. I know in this video I was showing you more of the like completed outfits, but I'll definitely focus on bringing back the creative process part if you're interested in seeing that. I know um, sometimes it's like I feel just takes so long to get to the point. So I'm like, oh, maybe people just wanna see like the finished product. So let me know if you'd rather see more creative process because I could absolutely be doing that. And yeah, um, we're actually bringing the bundles back this Sunday. We're doing them every second week now, um, just so we have more time to focus on the bundles that we have going on and more time to shop and we don't overload ourselves. Basically, we are bringing them back this Sunday and we're gonna have six new themes because with the first round we had 10 themes and then now we have six more. So we've already shot three of them on Nova that are gonna, we'll share really shortly. And then also there's gonna be three more that we're shooting tomorrow on Joe so that you get to see the bundle themes on a bunch of different body types on the website listing but I will give you a little sneak peek of what we're pulling together for the other themes. It gets so crazy in here when we're pulling together bundles because we're just like whipping out so much clothes. We're like getting back into our organization grind with all of the clothes and accessories. And uh, we also have our windows blocked off in here for our studio setup so that there's no natural light coming in because photos just look better when it's just like all artificial light for the studio lighting. But yeah, let me show you what we're pulling together. So we're gonna be shooting this theme here on Joe. We're trying to think of a name for it right now, but we are thinking like New York City newbie, like gutter girl, 
like kind of be a be a be oh, I could never say her fucking username or um she's the musician Biba Doobie. I think that's how you say it. Uh, kind of like her vibe because she's such a little icon. So yeah, these are like some baggy skate corduroys and then baggy skate sweater. And then we're gonna put like a hoodie underneath. The hoodie is also super cute. It has like a big red star on it. And then with this big furry bag and like a keychain, our plushy keychain on it. But we're still finalizing it here, but this is where we're going. And then we also want to do like an apocalyptic punk one. So we did a cargo skirt and that statement bell and baby tee and just like punky accessories and this big tactical bag. So yeah, I want everyone to feel represented. And then we're still pulling together this one, but this is our bundle theme that we're going for, for like more of a romantic goth, like bougie vampire vibe. These three themes are going to be shot tomorrow and then there will be lots more options.